Are you watching 360 Tumors? My name is Mick and this video has two purposes. First, uh, it's a tutorial for how to connect the, the Insta360 Pro to a network. Second, I'm going to teach you how to live stream on the Insta360 Pro. So let's get started. First, let's learn how to connect the Insta360 Pro to a, a network. There are two types of connections. You can do it wired or wireless. So let's first learn how to do it wirelessly. So first turn on your Insta360 Pro and on the main menu you press the settings button or go to the settings icon. So uh, once you've selected the settings uh, the first option you'll see is Wi-Fi. So there are two Wi-Fi modes there's AP and there's Wi-Fi. We're gonna choose Wi-Fi. So uh, I, to, to change it I'm gonna press the OK button to toggle it so instead of AP it's now gonna say Wi-Fi so now that it says Wi-Fi this means that it's going to connect to your home or office wireless network you, then you press the back button to go back to the main menu um, then you launch your Insta360 Pro app on the Insta360 Pro app you'll see one of the options is for a QR code reader up there up on the left so you tap on that and then one of the options you'll see is Wi-Fi and on that screen you enter the SSID and the password for your Wi-Fi network the one that you want to the Insta360 Pro to connect to so and here I'm going to type my SSID and my password then I'm going to press done. Then I'm going to create, uh, press generate a QR code. Now it's going to create a QR code. Um, and on, on this, on the main screen, when on the, go to the Wi-Fi icon and then press the settings button. So now it says align QR code to scan. So I, I'm going to show it, I'm going to put my QR code in front of the lens. So that beep tells you that it's recognized the code. So now it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So on the upper left corner, you'll see the Wi-Fi icon, which means that the Wi-Fi signal is active. Now the other way is to uh, use an Ethernet connection. So um, to do that, it's very simple. You simply connect an Ethernet cable to the Ethernet jack on the Insta360 Pro. If your if your Ethernet router is connect is correctly configured, then it will automatically assign an IP address. So on the upper left uh, corner, you'll see the IP address. So those are the two ways that you can connect the Insta360 Pro to a network. Now let's learn how to stream uh, from the Insta360 Pro. So to stream, you need a few things. First, you need an internet connection, and we already learned how to do that. Um, second, uh, you need a streaming um, service such as YouTube or Facebook or uh, some other uh, live streaming service. So the first step is to connect the Insta360 Pro to a network, and we've already done that. And um, again, for best results, you should use an Ethernet connection. And then um, on the streaming service such as YouTube or Facebook, uh, you should create a streaming event. Uh, many of you are already familiar with this. It's just the same process as a regular streaming event. The only thing is you need to check the box for a 360 video. So after you've created a streaming event, you should have the RTMP uh, streaming URL and you should also have the uh, stream key so you make a note of uh, those two and we're gonna enter them into the Insta360 Pro at first uh, we're gonna calibrate the Insta360 Pro and so on the main screen you go to stitching calibration and then you press OK so now it's uh, correctly calibrated and one of the special features of the Insta360 Pro is that while it's streaming, it can also 
record the video. So uh, to, if, if you're going to do that, I recommend using um, an external SSD drive. First, it's, um, it's faster, much faster than any um, SD card. Second, it costs less per uh, gigabyte. You can see in the link in the description below uh, which one that I'm using. So you make sure that the, the Insta360 Pro has already started up before you connect the SSD drive. Uh, so now we're re almost ready to stream. So remember, uh, you created uh, a streaming event and you have the RTMP and the stream name. Now we're going to enter it into the Insta360 Pro. There are several ways to do this. You can use um, a desktop to do it. Uh, you can use a QR code. Now the way I'm going to show you is by using the Insta360 Pro app. So on the Insta360 Pro app, um, you switch first of all, uh, establish a connection from the the app to the Insta360 Pro. You do this by um, going to connection method A and when it asks you for the IP address enter the IP address that shows up on the upper left corner of, of the main menu. So, so and uh, be sure that your phone is connected to the same network uh, as the Insta360 Pro. And now I'm going to enter the IP address and I'm going to press connect. Now it's connected. Main screen. And from the main screen, you click on live streaming. Uh, you give it a few seconds, it's going to connect to the Insta360 Pro. Now from the live streaming menu, for mode, choose custom RTMP server. And then for uh, it's going to give you the option to use 2D or 3D and right now um, I don't know if any platform that supports 3D streaming yet so let's just use 2D projection projection type again it's by default it's equirectangular uh, the, uh, there's an option for cubic projection but you'll have to make sure that whatever streaming service you're using supports cubic uh, projection which is more efficient but for now we're going to choose equirectangular uh, you can choose the resolution and the frame rate and the bit rate um, and the, the single lens resolution. Then in the part where it says street live streaming URL, you tap on that and enter the, in the space for server, enter the RTMP URL that you got from your streaming service. If it's kind of long, one tip is um, you can I, I, sometimes what I do is I email it to myself, I copy it and I email it to myself. So once you've entered the, uh, server, your, uh, uh, the server URL and the stream key, click on save. And you have the option to save the video. So in this case, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and you can also save... Uh, a stitched video which means it will uh, stitch it in real time while streaming. You can also tap on the exposure tab to change settings such as the uh, exposure mode from auto to manual to isolated exposure. You can also adjust the exposure compensation. There's also a tab for properties that lets you adjust the appearance of the video from brightness, saturation, contrast uh, and other variables. And when you're ready to uh, start, you press start uh, by, by clicking on live. So that means that the Insta360 Pro is going to begin uh, recording. Now, you go back to the uh, streaming service that you're using and begin the stream. On, you, on YouTube, the first step is uh, preview. So now I've clicked on start, start streaming and uh, it should be live streaming right now. So I'm going to click on view and watch page. Test. And here it is. It's kind of hard to see because it's uh, bright. But uh, here's the stream. And it's in 360. And when you're ready to stop, uh, you go to the control room you click on stop streaming 
and on the Insta360 Pro you press OK to stop so I showed you how to connect the Insta360 Pro to your network wirelessly or with an Ethernet connection I've also shown you how to stream with the Insta360 Pro and you saw it was super easy and I have samples in the uh, link in the description below where you can see a sample of the live stream um, on YouTube and on Facebook and you'll see that it has exceptional quality and if you'd like to buy the Insta360 Pro send me an email or go to facebook.com slash 360 rumors to send me a message so I can help you get a discount thank you very much for watching I hope you found this video helpful uh, please hit the like button and for more tips on 360 cameras and 360 camera accessories please subscribe thanks very much